hey everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to the vibe tribe family today is wednesday and that means it is vibe tribe collaborations and this is my collaboration with lisa from diamonds and stitches it is also get to know me tag part four i believe and let me tell you oh boy this was interesting i did not read the questions before i started filming Whew, I think I should have, but let's get into today's video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would stick around by hitting the subscribe button and joining the Vibe Tribe family. If you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as it lets me know I'm on the right track for creating content for you all. If you don't like it, that's okay. I'm okay with that to each their own. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as it will let you know when I upload. And right now, yeah, I'm uploading a little squirrely. All right, let's get into today's video. Hey, hey everyone, how's your day going so far? Hope everything is absolutely fantabulous. Sherry here, AKA Diamond Art Addiction. And welcome to Wednesday, and that is Vibe Tribe Collaborations Day. And this is episode five, I call it episodes, instead of just video, make it an episode. Of course I gotta be the one that's gotta be different, right? Yeah, that's me. There, I call them episodes, you call them videos. As I used to say a while ago, you do you, honey boo boo, I'm gonna do me, sweet pea. Okay, I have to say this. It is Wednesday early morning here in Alberta, Canada. It is 3.15 in the morning and this is gonna be an all-nighter for me. That's okay, I'm good with it because Something absolutely amazing happened tonight. And I'm not gonna talk about it in today's video. That is for tomorrow's Time Out Thursday. And do you wanna know what I'm absolutely looking forward to in a little bit? I'm gonna watch the sunrise as I diamond paint. And I'm just gonna soak in this whole new outlook and I will explain what I mean by that in Time Out Thursday tomorrow. I'm going to say I already told you if you're watching I already mentioned this to you in a chat that you were the inspiration for Time Out Thursday and I cannot thank you enough. I really truly can't. Okay now that I got that out of the way I've got one more thing I want to say and then we're gonna get into what today's video is about. Not the squirrels. Oh, the squirrels. Oh, they, they've been crazy. Oh, they've been rampant. <laughs> okay, so yesterday you guys seen me upload a video being an unboxing and first impressions for Victor Victoria's Moon UK. So after I uploaded the video, Victoria's Moon you know, I reached out to them, let them know that it was up. They got back to me and they said, awesome, thank you very much. They look forward to seeing how I progress in the painting and they gave me a discount code for you guys. This is not an affiliate link or code like it is I have that I have with Treasure Studios Art. That is an affiliate link. The one from Victoria's Moon is not. This is just a code that you guys can use to save 10% off your order. And right now they already have a lot of diamond paintings that are 50% off. So if you go to the website and you find one of those said paintings that are big, like what I got, that's worth like $135, you take that 50% off and then you take this, this discount code and you guys are going to save a total of 60%. To me, that's pretty killer, especially with the free shipping that I seen when I was going to place an order because I wanted to see what shipping would normally be. So that's a pretty sweet deal. Like I said, I do not make a commission. I am making nothing. Now, this coupon code is in the description box of yesterday's video. So definitely go give them a check, check them out. Because like I say, how 
I experienced something to all my creator friends in YouTube land. You know, we all experience things differently. We all react to things differently. You know, what I like, you might not like and vice versa. So that's why I said yesterday, go in with an open mind when you watch videos, right? Like it is what it is. That's something else I'm gonna touch base a little bit on tomorrow's video. I'm not here for that. We're here for the tag, get to know me part four. And my collab, as you guys, I'm sure if you've been watching for the last few weeks, this collab is with Lisa from Diamonds and Stitches. And this is the very first collab that I have on YouTube with, you know, the very first one I've done with somebody on YouTube. And then, as you know, I have the one with Nicole on Fridays. And I got three more coming, you guys. Three more. I'm going to have the fall collab. I'm going to have the Halloween collab. I'm going to have the friend mail collab. And then I'm also going to have a second Halloween collab with my son. So that's four actually. And you know what? I'm good with it. So now that I got that out, definitely make sure you go check out Lisa's channel. I will have that linked down below, down there, somewhere down there. Yeah. 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 Just click the little arrow and it'll come down. Yeah. She's right there. <laughs> definitely go and give her a check out you guys she I've, I've been enjoying watching her videos and as my YouTube brother has said to me Jeremy I may not always comment on your videos but please know I'm listening or watching I love that he pointed that out because sometimes I'll watch a video and then you know I'll go about I get distracted with a phone call or you guys know I'm a little squirrely, okay? So I've been enjoying watching her answers as we've been doing this tag. You know, like she's been putting together, she's the one that's been putting together the tag questions, which I truly appreciate because, oi, with the way things have been going, I tell ya. <laughs> oi, 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 I'm hoping the squirrels are gonna hibernate really good this winter, you guys. And I won't be so squirrely, even though I know a lot of you love the squirrels. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm going a little bat heat crazy. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I've gotten this far. I am this section right here that's lit up. Once it's done, I will officially be halfway done the diamond painting. I cannot wait to see where Lisa's at. I, it's been kind of a slow process, me working on it because I've got so many other projects on the go. So I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit here <laughs> and maybe just not start any more projects. So I got Mr. Addiction's phone. That's what I, that's how I get these collab questions to me because I'm busy, I'm a procrastinator, I'm a little bit lazy and I don't wanna write them down. So I just text him to his phone and then I use his phone and I'm just smart like that because my son has my iPad. Kids. Okay, now that we're like seven and a half minutes into said video, it's time to not squirrel and get two questions. Look, I'm even using my chip the, the pen, chip the squirrel pen. Mm -hmm. And I've got my cover minder from Karen right there. I've got the oh, tripod leg is what apparently we have. I got the don't feed the monsters. And I got my cover minder from Karen there. So I'm going to throw her Facebook group. If you want to know where to get the cover minders from, I got them from Karen KK's Unique Diamond Painting Pens on Facebook. I will link that down in the group. And then this here comes from Diamond Painting by Donnie, Drill Pen Frenzy. I'm sure you guys know who she is. So I will link that down there as well. Okay, now that I've, now it's been an eight and a half minute squirrel. That's a big squirrel, holy. Okay, let's get into question one, you guys. <clears throat> What's a nickname only your family calls you? Jerk? No. <laughs> I'm just being, you guys, this is going to be a very interesting video. <laughs> because I, I kind of got that sense of humor right now and I've just, yeah, I don't know. 
You guys will find out tomorrow why. Oh, hey. No, it's not jerk. I don't really have a nickname. Thunderfoot? <laughs> That's true. That is a true story. That's not funny. It's not. But no, I get called Thunderfoot because unlike Mr. Addiction, a.k.a. Driving Miss Daisy, I'm Speedy Gonzalez. When I got somewhere to go, I want to get there. I don't want to be sitting there smelling the roses. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the car. I actually got that from my dad. So my dad is the same way. And I am a Murphy. And apparently the Murphy gene is very strong. It is. Just look at my children. It's strong. <laughs> yeah. The force is strong in us. <laughs> so yeah, Thunderfoot would definitely be, that would be a nickname my family would call me. <laughs> Let me get a drink of a sippy sippy here before I, before I answer this next question. Give me a second here, folks. Oh, okay. I had a sippy sippy. What's a weird habit of yours? What isn't? <laughs> as soon as I seen that question, I'm like, I know how my family would answer that. What isn't weird about me? <laughs> I'm just a squirrely, strange, unique kind of person. So a lot of things I do that's weird. And really what's weird? <laughs> to me, I'm... Okay, what's weird? Let's see. Well, again, what isn't weird? I don't really have. I don't know what would be a weird habit. I don't smoke. Oh, when I'm sleeping, I've got to literally have the blankets tangled up around my feet, but yet more like around my ankles. Okay, you guys? They, yeah, it's weird. It, the blanket's got to be the sheet, not the comforter. The sheet has to be wrapped around my ankles and my feet have to be sticking out from the bed because God is forbid I get hot. Because if I get hot, next thing you know, I'm seriously throwing, <laughs> throwing the blankets onto Mr. Addiction and then he's sitting there going, what's your problem? I'm like, it's too hot. <laughs> so if... As long as my feet are out of the blankets, even if it's a blistering hot day or what we think is blistering hot up here in Canada. Yeah, that, that would be a weird habit. Do you have any weird phobias? Yes, I do. Absolutely. And in that one episode of The Simpsons, as Bart Simpson would say, can't sleep, clown's gonna eat me. Can't sleep, clown's gonna eat me. I'm deathly, deathly afraid of clowns, you guys. Like, I see a clown and these short little stumps of mine, because I'm only four foot 11, I'm telling you, I see a clown and I'm gonna be hijacking it right across the street and I am gonna bombard anybody that's in my way. I will seriously, like it is, it's a weird phobia. I am absolutely petrified of clowns. There's just something creepy wrong about them. It's weird, but again, I'm weird. So, but yeah, I am, oh, see, my skin is just crawling. Like, literally, guys, I got goosies. I got the girl who's completely tattooed up is afraid of clowns, and I got goosies just thinking about clowns. Oh, clowns are bad. Ooh, bad, bad, bad. Keep, no, no clowns. Shouldn't even have talked about clowns because now I'm visualizing clowns, but... On a side note, squirrel. <laughs> I got to try and keep the squirrels a little quiet tonight because Mr. Addiction's sleeping. God has helped me if I wake him up at this time of day. Okay. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Well, shit. I was talking about clowns. Oh, see, squirrel. Told you guys. Oh, my, oh, my lanta. This is really going to be a squirrely video. I don't think I should record videos at... 3.30 in the morning. So <laughs> I actually went to the theater with my mom, my daughter, and my 13-year-old son at the time, and I watched that new It movie. Well, let me tell you. 
it didn't scare me. I cannot watch the, the original It movie. I cannot watch it. Like, I will seriously, I will flip the couch. I will blow snot until it gets turned off. I will not watch it. I refuse. But that new one, I laughed. It was funny. I'm like, okay, well, at least this is one clown movie that I say I can watch because even the part where Georgie's arm got bit off, I was like, cool, they got good graphics in this one because I'm a horror buff, as long as it's not clowns. <laughs> okay, now that that was like a five minute long winded response. Oh my God. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? <laughs> oh, my Lanta, do I really have to answer this? Can I plead the fifth and just move on? Oh, no, no, I can't do it. Ah, I got to answer the question. Okay, so anyone that knows me knows that I'm not, into, I'm not a country person. Okay, you guys? I'm really not. I don't like country. It's not my gig to each their own. You do you, honey boob. I'm going to do me sweet pea, okay? I'm like rock, classic rock, you know, classical music. And a lot of people find it strange that I don't like country, but I like classical to each their own, right? A song that I secretly belt out when no one's alone is Shania Twain, Any Man of Mine. I know, I know. For a girl who hates country, you cannot get any more country than Shania Twain. And any man of mine is dead to rights country song. So yeah, that is one little fact that, yep, yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing to me, Lisa. I see what you're doing to me. I didn't, you, seriously, you guys, I haven't even read these questions. She sent them to me through DM, and the reason, and I'll tell you why. The reason, squirrel, that's, I don't know, squirrel counter, I don't know how many squirrels I'm at now. <sighs> Jeez, and we got 29 questions to go. Saddle up, boys and girls, this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> yeah, it's that kind of day for me. It's that kind of day. <laughs> it's a good thing, this is a good thing. So, yeah. I see what you're doing to me, Lisa. I, okay, so I don't answer camps. I'm literally, I'm squirreling. I'm little, little. <laughs> Give me a second, folks. And I'm back. I just had to get up, take a sippy sippy of my iced tea. I'm not drinking alcohol. It's literally, it's iced tea and not the Long Island kind, the actual pure leaf iced tea. Okay, just wanted to clear that, just to clear that up. So I'm not drinking. I just, I had to step up, get a breath. What it is, is I have so much energy within me right now because, like I said, the most amazing thing happened and I just want to belt it from the rooftops, but I'm not right now. I'm good. So Lisa, as I was saying earlier, <laughs> I don't read these questions. And this is the reason why. Because I'm not pre-answering them in my head so I have no idea what's coming at me down the pipes I just copy and paste them from her messages and I start filming and then I send them to the hubby cell phone and then I forget about them and then I because I always get them a couple days before we film and this is this is like you guys are seriously getting like genuine shock and that's why I'm saying Lisa I see what you're doing to me here I see. I see you. I get to pick next week's tag questions. <laughs> and I'll send them to you like two hours before you're going to film. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just teasing you, girl. I'm just teasing you. Five. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? <laughs> Let's see. Chewing with their mouth full. That's a big one. Fake people, that's another one. Biggest one I'd say is people's lack of respect for others is a huge pet peeve of mine. And 
that's always been a pet peeve of mine. You know, I'm definitely the girl that I come across as meek and mousy and I'm not, you know, I'm learning to have my voice, but I definitely sit at the sidelines and I watch things. And if you guys are hearing nature in the background, you are. And that's not because my windows are open. It's because I got the nature station on my satellite radio because it's enjoyable. It's supposed to be mountain canyons and valleys, thunderstorm. That don't sound like a thunderstorm to me. Oof, you should have seen the thunderstorm we had earlier. Oof. But yeah, it's just people's utter lack of disrespect for others. That is probably the number one pet peeve I have, right? My second one would be chewing with your mouth open. That's just disgusting. Talking with your mouth full is also disgusting. It really is. Like, if you're eating finish chewing what's in your mouth before you start spewing because otherwise you're going to be spewing chunks and crumbs all over the table and then that's just gross and then I'm not going to be able to eat and then I'm going to get mad because I'm going to be hangry and oh, you don't want to see a hangry squirrel I tell you there are nasty little critters Oof. all right moving on before we, the squirrels come back What's one of your nervous habits? Oh, that's easy, biting my nails. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing pretty good right now because it, you know, like, and it's, I, like, it's like I nibble and then I spit, right? Either that or I fidget. Like, I got to have something in my hands that I can be fidgeting with. So that would be one of my nervous habits and biting my nails. And that's why I have this here. So instead of biting my nails, because I'm very proud, like, I've actually got... A decently long nail so I've decided since I quit smoking I'm no longer going to do that and it's worked and fidgeting with something has helped okay number seven 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 what side of the bed do you sleep on I sleep well it depends what side how are we taking this as are we taking it with back to the bed or front to the bed let me know. <laughs> that just be me. Yeah, that just be me because I'm in one of those moods. If your back is turned to the bed, I sleep on the right side. If you're facing the bed forward, I sleep on the left side. There we go. That's which side of the bed I lay on. And that's the way it's been since me and Mr. Addiction got together. And that's probably the way it will remain. It doesn't matter what house we're staying at. It doesn't matter where we are that is how we sleep and it works because if we go sleep the other way mr addiction snores and i'm an extremely light sleeper so if he snores and i get woken up now i'm gonna be bitchy and then i'm gonna be nagging on his butt and that just doesn't make for a good day especially when you're both of you don't work yeah i know and we cohabitate very well together <laughs> I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. <clears throat> Number eight. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? Well, shit. I don't remember. I didn't have stuffed animals. I mean, I did. Don't get me wrong. I had stuffies, but I didn't name them. My mom might be able to answer that question. Keep an eye in the comment section. See if she answers that because I have no clue. Oh, I had a rabbit or something. I remember. Oh, something's coming back. Flashback. Oh, flashback. See, the squirrels have gone back to the nut pile. The squirrels are at the nut pile. So I can think. I did have an animal that I absolutely adored. I can't remember if it was a rabbit. I want to say rabbit. And I went to a sleepover and I left it there. And I can remember sitting on the stairs blowing snot because I wanted this stuffed animal. I couldn't sleep without it. Oh yeah, I was pissed. After about three hours of crying and screaming and spewing snot, someone went and got it for me just to shut me up. <laughs> Love you, mom. <laughs> but it worked. 
No, don't worry. I had three kids. She only had me. I had three. And if she was here, I hear you, mother. Having me was like having five or six. <laughs> That's right. I tell you, life is never boring around me. <laughs> All right, moving on. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? That's easy. It's the only thing I order at Starbucks. Grande, extra grande if I can, but grande, vanilla bean, frappuccino. Hold the whipped cream. Flippin' hate whipped cream. Blech. Nasty, yucky stuff. Nope, not for me. Vanilla bean frappuccinos are delicious. And I'm going to throw a little something in here. Speaking of Starbucks, I have a little picture I want to show you guys. I'm in Canada, okay? Marijuana is legal in Canada. So if this is going to offend you, then I'm sorry. But this is a photo of a place in my town. So you can literally go go to Starbucks, I can get my vanilla bean frappuccino, I can get what else I want, and go home. One-stop shop. Seriously, you guys, it's perfect. You can get your you can get your frappuccino and you can get the other goodies. So I'm going to just throw this photo in here for you guys right about here. So I stopped there the other day with my sister to do the one-stop shop and she was getting ready to take a picture and I'm like, what? She's like, well, you've only been telling your subscribers for how long that you're going to send them a, show them a picture of this because a lot of them haven't seen it. And I'm like, oh yeah. So I got out the good old iPhone XS Max, whatever that means, but got, got out the old iPhone XS and snap me a photo of that photo right there for you guys that is a bonus to living in Canada now for me it is prescribed to me from my doctor because I don't want to take opioid pain medication and it works to help me so I think I would rather take something that's going to help so I don't have to take opioids versus not. So now that that turned into a huge, I don't know, five minute squirrel, again, let's move on. What's a beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? I don't. I don't. Now, when I used to be into makeup and I was selling unique, I always used to preach using primer. I never use that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I found, but I was doing what I was told. Anyway, just saying. Uh, I found primer did nothing for me, except make another step in my makeup routine that I don't think I really needed. And a product that I don't think that I needed, but people want you to spend buttloads of money on it. And not just one, you gotta have multiple. Yeah, shit, I know, right? Do you know how many diamond paintings I could buy with all the tubes of primer that I used to have? Jeez, shit. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we're, so yeah, I used to preach about primer, but I didn't use the stuff. It just clogged up my pores made my face feel cakey, and I just didn't do it. All right, there we go, moving on. Oh, sounds like the thunderstorm hit. I better turn it down. We'll just we'll just turn the thunderstorm down. Wish I could have done that earlier tonight. Holy, oh my lanta, let me tell you, I was sitting there, setting everything up, got my little thing of drills from Harbor Freight, and all of a sudden this big bang hits and my drills go flying and I'm like jumping. I'm like, holy shit, the cats are scurrying around the house, the condo shaking and holy Moses, Mary, mother of Josephine, let me tell you. Yeesh. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Lisa, what are you doing to me here? Do you have any weird body skills? Nope, I don't. Like seriously, I don't. Like I can go... I don't know. I was doing it earlier. 
I can do really good when I want to. See, now that I want to, I can't. Like the popping, like I can actually make it. So I guess that is a weird body trick. I can actually pop my lips to the point it actually sounds like a ball popping. If I can, it depends. You gotta have the right consistency of moisture in the mouth <laughs> to do a good pop. Yeah, that's definitely a weird body skill. Holy cow, I cannot believe I just did that. Anywho, moving on. What is, what's your favorite comfort food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyways? What isn't? Nowadays, what isn't bad for you? Everything's bad for you. Unless it's like seeds. I don't know. Everything I eat is bad. No, seriously, you guys, it is. No, I'm just kidding. No, pretty much it is. <laughs> I mean, I eat a lot of fruit. I don't eat red meat. I don't eat pork. I eat very little chicken. I love veggie burgers. Um, I do love my, my salty snacks, like chips, crackers. Not a big chocolate person. I love candy. I don't eat a lot of it. Like I can get like the last bag of cheesecake M&Ms that I got from them, the amazing United States because they have cheesecake M&Ms. It's a huge bag, right? Like it was a big bag and it lasted me three months. Like I don't eat a whole lot and that's just due to, I have some damage to my teeth from my, when I used to use drugs. Like I am, Coming up on August long weekend, I will be officially 14 years clean from crystal meth. I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that. So I will be talking about that uh, coming up on August long weekend. I am going to film that video and talk about that. But I do have damage. Um, Due to that drug addiction, I have damage to my heart and I got damage to my teeth. So, yeah, I can't eat a lot in one sitting, so that's probably a good thing for me. I'd probably be, like, very extremely, you know, like, I, I can't lose weight for the life of me. So, <laughs> but anyway, moving on, yeah. See, I told you guys, I'm sorry, the squirrels are really bad, but we're moving through here. We're going on 14, and there's only 29. Hang in there, guys. Hang in there. 14, what's a phrase or exclamation you always say? Oh, geez, squirrel. Oh, my lanta. Holy Hanna-Barbara. Mary, mother of Josephine. Let me see. I know I'm missing some, and I'm sure you guys are going to comment them down in the comment section. I'll guarantee you will. I do say many blessings. Yeah, you guys know me. You know what I say. I don't even, you guys only hear it 5,000 times in a video sometimes. You guys are so amazing for hanging in there with me. I love you for that. <laughs> Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? I am wearing a t-shirt and underwear that will be it that is my comfort because then i'm not hot i'm not constricted and my feet are out i don't wear socks you guys like ever I hate socks so yeah no that's what i'm wearing <clears throat> 16 how did you get your youtube username well let's see here i've had a few youtube usernames as i stated I started my YouTube back in June of 2009, and originally my YouTube name was Rowan Blue Moon, which is part of my witch name. <clears throat> that is the first and the last name of my magical name. And then the middle name I only give out to certain people. That'll be for a Spiritual Sunday video. So that was my original name. And then before this, I was 
Oh, shit. See, I've been, see, I'm so used to being Diamond Art Addiction. It was something beauty. Beautifully, beautifully ageless is what I was before this. Because I believe beauty is ageless because true beauty comes from within. Outer beauty changes, inner beauty is it you are what you are, right? You're either a jerk or you're not a jerk. You're one of the others. It's plain and simple. <laughs> I'm just being a smart ass, you guys. But it's true. True story. <laughs> oh, my lamp. You guys are going to be so laughing at me saying this lady's a crack job. If you've made it this far, throw up three squirrel emojis. Then I know you made it. And you're just as squirrely as me. <laughs> Has to be three. No more, no less. Then I know you're squirrely, and if you make it to the end, I'll give you something else. Then I'll really know how squirrely you are. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so Diamond Art Addiction. Well, I'm pretty sure that stands up for itself. I love my diamond painting. Like, I am addicted. It's what I do. It is what I do. If I am home, which is most of the time, I am either chatting with you guys in one, sh one way, shape, or form, or I'm filming for you guys, or I am diamond painting for me, right? And actually, I film for me too. Talk about more on that on Thursday. Stain squirrel. So yeah, diamond art addiction. You know, I don't plan on ever changing my my name. You know, I mean, I know a lot of you have changed your channel names, and I'm confused because I'm not sure who's who, and then I get a message saying, oh, I'm so-and-so, and I'm like, oh, okay, thanks for clarifying, because um, people change their names, and then I get confused, and then the squirrels just start spinning, oh, it's just not a pretty sight up there, Ooh, no, okay. so yeah, diamond art addiction, it'll always be that. If you could change your name to anything, what would it be, and why? I don't think I would. If anything, like, I would love to be Rowan, instead of Sherry, and that's just because that's my magical name. It's my chosen name. Sherry is my birth given name that was chosen for me, and Rowan is my chosen name, aka magical name. So, and it's just because of the Rowan tree. I absolutely love the Rowan tree. So, and it is, plays a huge part in my spirituality. All right, and moving on to 18. If you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? Hang in there. This too shall pass. Is what I would give my tell myself. And the reason why I would tell myself that is because I don't want to give away the future. You got to figure it out on your own. But to tell myself that it always passes. No matter how bad things look at the time, no matter how much you want to give up, don't. Because this too shall pass. Hang in there. That's it. Pretty basic question. Pretty, pretty basic answer for that because it's true. You know, that's the only thing I would say. I mean, I wouldn't want to ruin the future. Phew. I mean, and there's nothing I would want to change either. Because I wouldn't be where I'm at where I'm at today, and I'm very proud of where I'm at today. So, I don't think I would be the person I am without the things that I've gone through. Okay, on to 19. Oh, we only got 10 more to go, you guys. We can do this. Hang in there. How old were you when you first learned to blow a bubble gum bubble? Oh, pfft. man, I can't remember what I did last night. You ask me when I can't remember that. Oh no. I was young. How's that for an answer? I don't know what to say. I don't remember. Because I could always go, I see, I can't do it now. I can't do it. I can't make the popping sound. Shoot. Now I'm going to look like a big old liar, liar, pants on fire person, but I can. One day I'm just going to be in the middle of a live stream and I'm just going to go, why can't I do it? See, you're, I'm almost getting it there. But yeah. So I'm going to say I was young. I, I honestly don't remember how old I was when I learned to blow a bubble. Well. 13 for 
bubbles. So yeah, 13, we'll say 13. That's when I started blowing bubbles. There we go. What's the hardest you ever laughed? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, when I fell in the fire at age 16 on my arse and I laughed. Basically, there's more to the story, but I'm only going to give a little bit right now because we need to keep this PG-13. But I was at a bush party and a group of us got together and... We shared some bubbles and next thing you know, I was walking over to my boyfriend at the time and I literally tripped and I twisted myself and I ended up falling arse first into the fire and then I started going devil, devil, devil in the fire. And then I was just, everyone was laughing and I was laughing. Meanwhile, my boyfriend's trying to get my, my ass out of the fire. And oh yeah, I just laughed and then, you know, threw some water on my arse and I was just laughing and laughing. Oh yeah, it was good old time. <laughs> I felt it the next day, let me tell you, it hurt. <laughs> but that was the hardest that I can ever remember laughing that really stuck out. Because, you know, it was just, and then we all laughed for a long time after that. Okay. If, 21, if you could play any musical instrument, which would it be and why? If I could play any musical instrument, I think it would be flute. And the reason why is I owe either flute or violin. I've always loved the way flutes and violins sound. So I definitely think it would be the flute or the violin because they just sound so enchanted foresty and very Celtic-y and, you know, they're mystical. So that would be my reason why. Like, I absolutely love those two instruments. And I don't know how to play piano. I mean, I've always wanted to learn to play something, but I just never took the time. I'm going to learn a second language, actually. I'm going to learn German. So I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be fun. I've always wanted to learn Spanish and German. I mean, I know French is the second language of Canada, but I'm gonna learn German and German and Spanish first, and then maybe I'll learn French, and then I will be quadruple lingual. We'll see if I can do it. If I can learn German, I think I'll be good. Good to learn the rest. Twenty-two. What's your favorite thing to do when you're upset? Diamond paint. Really now is diamond paint. I like to meditate when I'm upset. Uh, burn sage, go out into nature. I know everything can't be based around diamond painting, but it is a huge part of who I am and what I do. So I definitely want to throw that out there that it is a huge part of who I am. And, you know, so, but yeah, going out into nature, burning sage, meditating all three at once like in nature meditating with sage burning works it's really good really good oh that'll that'll calm me down for days days okay 23 what's your favorite movie oh i think i answered this not that long ago and it's probably going to change my favorite movie Oh, why? I gotta go and think now. Even though I'm not a chick flick person, I do like Pretty Woman. I absolutely do like Pretty Woman. And I think it's just because of what it stands for. So, you know, no matter what, you can, you do what you gotta do and to get by. And don't give up. So yeah, I like that one. 
<clears throat> uh, Lean on Me is a very good movie. It's back in the 80s about a gentleman who, oh, I think it's Morgan Freeman. Yeah, Morgan Freeman plays a principal that takes over a school, you know, in a lower poverty area of a city and he turns it around and I really, really like that movie. I like Armageddon. I watch more documentary, you know, psychological thriller, true crime stuff. So I haven't really checked out any newer movies. Those are older movies I like. <clears throat> yeah, that's that question. <laughs> 24, what's one food you cannot live without? What is one food that I cannot live without? I gotta think about that. Because really, it would probably be my crackers. Like, I'm talking like Christy, like vegetable thins, wheat thins, Ritz, you know, Cheez-Its. Love the Cheez-Its. Those are the things that that I like. There's always something like that in my cupboards. And that's just because I like my salty, I like my salty snacks. I think I'm ready to switch colors now. Jeez, and we're almost to the end. So I'm just gonna go like that and put that one in there and grab this one here, which means you are 38, 35. Yep, 38, 35 is E. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're moving on to E here, guys. I have to focus. You guys know I'm filming. It's now four o'clock in the morning. The sun's going to be coming up soon, which will be nice because then I'll make coffee. I'll probably make coffee when I'm done this because I'm almost done. All right. What's your favorite dessert? My favorite cheesecake. Hands down. Even though I'm completely lactose intolerant now, I just have to take lactate when I'm going to when I'm going to have cheesecake. I definitely have to take lactate. I was never lactose intolerant before, and I am now. I'm okay with that, though. I'm okay with it. That's that's why we create medicines for that kind of stuff. Okay, favorite pizza topping? Cheese. I'm see I'm seeing a pattern here. I'm going to take it. I like my dairy products. Yeah, I do. But I, I hate milk. Oh, I cannot stand milk. Ugh. Yuck. I'm sorry. I just need a little sippy sippy here. One second. I don't know about you guys, but man, when I'm filming, I go, I get dry. Like, I get really dry. I don't know if that's just me or if everyone else experiences that. To my creator friends. Do you get dry when you are filming videos and yabbering and nitter nattering at the gums there? So let me know. I'd like to know I'm not alone in this boat. <coughs> Excuse me. So yes, my favorite pizza topping is cheese. Would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? I wanna be invisible. I would wanna have the superpower to be invisible. Because I believe to want to read minds, I don't think you would want to know that. It's no different than being empathic, right? Knowing what other people are feeling is sometimes a gift and sometimes a curse, right? Do you really want to know what other people are thinking? And really, it's none of our business. <laughs> so I think it'd be a lot cooler to be invisible. Because then you don't need to worry about what they're thinking because you can eavesdrop on what they're saying. See, it's a win-win. You get both. Really? See, come on now. It works. You get both powers if you take the invisible one. Just saying. Throwing that out there. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. 28. Two questions to go, you guys. I don't even know how long this video is because this section is only 23 minutes and two, three, four seconds here. 28. What did you do for your last birthday? For my last birthday, it was my 40th birthday. So Mr. Addiction and his sister, 
my lovely sister-in-law. They got together and yeah, because this was before I started YouTube. Squirrel! This was before I started YouTube. So they got together and planned a little family get together, you know, Chinese food for supper, ice cream cake for dessert. So that was definitely a lactate night. Took two. Just be safe. Because that was a lot of that was a lot of dairy that night. So yeah, we did that and then, you know, got some gifts, had the family over. And I, uh, Mr. Addiction gave me a gift card for my birthday that I totally forgot I had, which was probably a good thing. And I found it and used it on Diamond Art Club. You guys will see that soon. <laughs> So I got that and then I got my, I got a dozen red roses and Mr. Addiction gave me a fart card. Seriously, my, my hubby, goddess love him, goddess love him, my hubby, for my 40th birthday, you guys, he gave me a card that talks about the different types of farts. Yeah, he's lucky that I have a good sense of humor because I laugh my ass off, right? And what was the best part was watching him laugh as I was reading it out loud. And how many wives do you know that you can give a fart card to on their 40th birthday and not get their heads ripped off? Yeah. And the reason why I liked it was because I knew he picked it out. You know, it wasn't his sister guiding him. It came from him. Right, and one day, maybe on a live while Mr. Addiction is close by, I will read you guys the fart card that he gave me for my 40th birthday. I think you guys would get an absolute riot out of it. Remind me on my live tonight, okay? That reminds me to let you guys know I will be going live tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And not only if you guys remind me about the fart card, I will read it to you tomorrow night, okay? And then we'll all get a good laugh. We, not only that, but we are gonna be picking winners for the giveaway, you guys. Like, no word of a lie, we're gonna be picking winners. The, get, the second giveaway is done. You have until 11 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Mountain, 1 p.m. Central, and 2 p.m. Eastern to get your answers in for yesterday's videos. So I'm going to give you guys until that time. So that way me and Nicole can get all the entries gone over, make sure yesterday's are all good and there. She can send me the sheets so I can print or send me pictures of the sheets so I can email them to myself and then print them off. And we are going to be picking winners. And if we hit 600 Vibe Tribe family members by, that, by the time I go live tonight, then two more winners will be chosen and we will have four. Four giveaway winners. There we go. Sorry, I had to take a minute there and look. Oh, there's cat hair on this. Squirrel! Sorry, you guys. Oh, they got cat hair on here. All those jerks. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I, we're, I was answering the question about what did you do for your last birthday, and it got into discussing fart cards. So, yes, remind me of that tonight, you guys, because it was really, it's, it is a hoot. You guys will, you guys will probably laugh your butts off. I know Mr. Addiction will if, if he's standing there while I read it. Okay, so this is the last and final question, you guys. If you had one personal selfish wish, what would it be and why? Ooh, everything just flickered. Is that a storm? No more storms. Okay, right, what would it be and why? Yes, I would like a selfish wish and it would be to have $50,000 in the bank 
so I could pay off my bills, actually physically marry Mr. Addiction, because we aren't married, like we're not actually legally married. I would like to actually do the legal part of it, even though he is my husband in every other aspect, and then go on a honeymoon to Scotland, Ireland, and England. And like just be gone for a couple months and just have time, just me and him. So yes, that is what it would be. Okay, so we are done with this week's collab video. Just to let you guys know, next week I am gone. You will have a video Monday next week because I will upload that before we leave. And then I'm going to see if I can pre-film a couple videos, but no promises. It has to all be done on my phone and I'm not sure how much my phone can hold. So I will be speaking with the ladies that I'm doing the collabs with and letting them know that I won't be able to upload next week as we are gone from the 29th until the 5th. We will be home. I will probably be uploading. So my last video will be on the 29th. My upcoming video will be like guaranteed you'll get a video from me will be on August 6th. So uh, we are going down south to visit the, my in-laws, which is Mr. Addiction's parents, and just have a little getaway. We're, you know, we're going to go to some places that I've never been to. I will be doing some filming slash vlogging. So you guys might get it. I mean, it's not like my in-laws don't have Wi-Fi, right? So you guys might get a vlogging video halfway through the trip. So you can kind of see what how things are going and what we're doing. You know, I can share, like we're gonna go to Calgary, I think. We're gonna go to Banff. I've never been to any either of them, just like I've never been to Drumheller. I've never been to Southern Alberta. I know. I need to get out more. I hear you guys. So if you guys are interested in that and if you would like to see that, just let me know how squirrely you are. Just put three squirrels and go vlog. And then I'll know you want to see the vlog or you could just go three squirrels and a heart, whatever you want. It is what it is. You guys sound off down in the comments. Now that the giveaway is over, I am going to try and keep up with the comments better than just a heart. It does get tough, you know, when you get lots of comments, but I do really love interacting with you guys. So I'm looking forward to tonight's live. So on that note, thank you for some very interesting questions this week, Lisa. I had a lot of fun answering it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I just gotta stop saying video, I gotta say episode. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up as it lets me know I'm on the right track for putting out content for you guys. It is my channel, but without you guys, there really wouldn't be a channel. So it's kind of got to be a win-win kind of thing here, right? Yeah, good. I'm glad we worked that out. Okay, you guys, until my next video, I'm going to bid thee all farewell. So many, many blessings. Stay positive. Live blessed. Hashtag Vibe Tribe. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.